guys, welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room. Today is April 2nd, 2016. And it's snowing outside up in Michigan. In fact, we got about six inches of snow, but it's an exciting day in the grow room because Stark Brothers just delivered my bare root strawberry plants. Got 100 this year, 75 ever bears and 25 June bears, which will go outside and we'll expect a good harvest from those next year. However, we're gonna do a lot of different uh, ways of growing strawberries inside, in the grow room, as well as outside this year. We're gonna do some deep water culture. We're gonna do some cracky. We're gonna do some grow slabs, guys. That should be fun. We're also gonna do a milk crate, a couple of milk crate gardens that uh, a gentleman that uh, has a channel by the name of Organics Best put together. So I wanna give that a try. I think that looks fun and creative. Um, but first, we're gonna get uh, some of these set up for hydroponics using a cloner box, okay? So we can get ready uh, and grow some of these out in a cloner box before we transplant into our final hydroponic destination. Strawberries. We love them. They're fickle, but they're fun to grow. And we're going to do it cracky style. 14 plants, 464. Four. We're going to go with tribute. Tribute's an ever bearer. You want an ever bearer or a day neutral type strawberry. Why? Because those are the types of strawberries that keep producing and producing and producing. June bearers, just for reference only put out one flush of strawberries a year however it's a big flush with big berries but when we're going with hydroponics we want to stay away from that I'm hearing good things about tributes let's take a look when you go with the bare root variety which I did with Stark Brothers you get 25 plants per bundle and all they are, are plants separated from the prior year grow alright so basically they come with long roots and you want to soak them for oh about eight hours or so type of thing to start to rehydrate these plants and let them know that they're about ready to start growing in fact you can see a little bit of greenage here they're really funky looking we really want to get all this dead vegetation off of these things okay guys so because these types of things can spread fungus and disease and that type of stuff and so they serve no purpose it's dead so get it off of there so when they're done they should look like this boom you'll notice Here's a good one right here. Trimmed the roots back to about two to three inches and got all that dead stuff off of there. So all you see are the new shoots that are starting to come out. This is the crown right here. All right, guys, that looks like a little crown. You do not want to plant your crown into dirt or hydroponics because that will lead to rot. That is one of the major things that you need to look forward to when you're planting out strawberries and it doesn't matter what method. This part gets wet, all of a sudden you're going to get all kinds of fungus, mildew, and it's going to rot and you don't want that to happen. So keep that in mind when you're planting. Three 10 gallon roughneck totes. Not filled all the way up to the top, so we have to take that into account when we're putting in our hydroponic nutrients, okay guys? And what I've learned over the years and from recent studies is that these uh, particular babies, as in strawberries, are not high nitrogen feeders. What we're going to end up growing these uh, strawberries in this year, or what I'm going to try to grow them in, is in a three-part series, but heavy on the bloom and the micro, and low on the grow. Alright guys, and so I'm going to be using General Hydroponics Flora Series, but we're going to do a reduced version of the grow which has all the nitrogen in it because we don't want all that green leafy matter, we want strawberries. So what's good when it comes to hydroponic nutrient and parts per million for strawberries? Well, first off, strawberries are not heavy eaters, nor do they like the high nitrogen, as I stated before. What we're looking for a target range of is between four and 600 parts per million. Yeah, that's it. They don't need a lot. So let's get started. Flora. Let's pretend this is eight gallons because it's not fully filled up. We're going to go with four teaspoons. Next, we're going to go with grow. 
8 gallons, 2 teaspoons. Bloom, 4 teaspoons. pH with lemon juice down to a 6.0 each bucket. Boom, boom, boom. We're at 610 parts per million. I'm a little high, but I was pretty close. All right, so four teas for an eight gallon, for eight gallons of water in each 10 gallon container, four teaspoons micro, two teaspoons grow, four teaspoons bloom. That's gonna be a good starter solution. Now here's the hard part in the whole process, and this is the actual time consuming part, is getting these into this. Alright, and you, what you want to do is you got to kind of play with it a little bit, but you want to tease those roots in the best you can so that they're poking through. Now, if they don't all poke through, don't panic. They'll end up finding their way out. They're smart. I put that in one of my first strawberry videos that plants are smart. They'll find the water and the food, but you want to give it as much of an advantage as you can. And plus, the dollar store had some of these decorative rocks on sale. I thought that would be kind of a cool way to fill in the space. But again, the most important the most important is to make sure that crown stays out of the water. And here we are guys. 14 tribute strawberry plants planted out. I think it should go without saying that when we are growing cracky style you want to make sure that the bottom of the net cup is hitting the water so it gets properly hydrated and begins to feed and come alive. Today is April 2nd, 2016. Let's come back in 30 days and check on the progress. In fact, let's make a 30, a 60, a 90, and a 120 day update. For those that can't do math, that should be about a four-month grow. See you soon, guys. Bye.